What's up, guys? Derek with Houston Freethinkers. We are here in Austin, Texas for the Police Accountability Summit with John Bush, Antonio Bueller. You guys just saw Pete from Cop Block. We are here with Clyde Voluntarius from NeverTakeAplea.org. Um, why don't you tell us a little bit about that organization? Well, NeverTakeAplea.org, it's uh, an organization we came up with to encourage people who are charged with victimless quote unquote crimes or even you know citations like parking tickets uh, traffic violations to not just accept not just pay the fine and not just accept a plea bargain but to demand a trial and if enough people were to do that they wouldn't be able to schedule 50 75 people and ring the cash register that many times in a day they would actually have to prepare cases and that would clog up the court system. Hopefully that would encourage them then to focus on um, cases where there is an actual victim, uh, be that property or a person. So uh, we can indirectly affect the system by, you know, as we talked about earlier, they do case stacking. They just start stacking the cases and jam it up with uh, all these nonviolent victimless crimes and hopefully encourage, like, as you said, the police to do some, some real work with actual victims. Now we're seeing, not only today, but more and more, I think, around the country and around the world, Cop Block, Cop Watch, more of these organizations where the police are being held accountable. And to me, this goes into the, the philosophy, the idea of just self-rule and without not, you know, being held down by not only the police, but just rules and laws that uh, limit us in certain ways and to me this kind of leads to the philosophy of voluntarism, agorism, anarchy and, and pretty much self-rule and I know that you consider yourself to be a voluntarist. Uh, if you could elaborate, what does voluntarism mean to you? Well, being a voluntarist, it's uh, you live in a voluntary society. In other words, we might exchange some goods or services and we might do that with silver, we might do that with labor, we might do that with products and we do that voluntarily and there's no need for the government to be involved as they are now with their hand out to get a piece of the action even though they didn't do anything so every interaction is voluntary uh, no involuntary or forced or coerced interactions between people um, and most voluntarists I think uh, adhere as I do to the non-aggression principle Definitely. I, from what I can uh, glean from and what I've learned from voluntarism is no force, non-aggression principle, the idea of mutual association, mutual benefit, and basically building communities of people who are empowered by educating each other about the, you know, the ills of society, such as police abuse and things like that, but also working to create our own institutions you know, instead of trying to, I guess you could say, fight to change the system within, starting to create either our own currencies, our own community systems of exchange. Well, I appreciate you coming on and Thank talking. You. Thank you.